Hey everyone, hope you're all doing great. Welcome back to another video. Uh, this is Manoj. Today is going to be a special video because uh, what you see on the screen, I've spent six months to develop this. What you see on the screen is the Python code that I have written um, based on certain conditions and uh, I found out the results to be very satisfactory. About 80% of the times, um, the contracts that you are going to sell in Nifty is going to go zero. There might be certain cases where uh, you might have to do adjustment. Just remember, I'm not going to go through this whole code line by line because um, it requires a strong Python expertise and uh, I've done a lot of adjustments based on the data that I have pulled from NSE. So that's not the motive of the video, but I can give you the conditions where this whole code is based upon. So there are only two ways that you can replicate the same results that I'm going to show you on this video. Either I'm going to set up this code, um, teach you how to do it, which I will do later um, in the later stages. I'm going to post a video once I reach a certain subscriptions or the condition that I'm going to give you, you can replicate the same thing in some other tool. You might get a, a ballpark number. You might see almost the same results what I'm going to show you in this video. Being that said, let me run this code and then I'll explain you what this code is going to do. It takes the conditions that I've given to the code. It goes to the NSE. It takes the OI data. It checks for the expiry dates, what are the expiry dates, and based on the conditions that I have given, takes the expiry dates, weeks, and how many days to expire. It calculates a number where Nifty might not be heading to, which means that it is going to give me two numbers at the end of this video, which will say that this will be the support where Nifty will not go, and this is going to be the resistance where the Nifty will not touch. The entire numbers I have backtested is for like 11 years, since 2011. I'm going to show, explain you those um, numbers. It is an Excel sheet where, the, again, it has been produced by the code. We'll go through that once this is done. As of now, it's running. It's doing some operations. Yeah. Okay, so now you can see that it has said that support for this week is 70,700 and uh, resistance will be 18,400. Remember, this is not a round figure, it is calculated, but I have made it in such a way that uh, it, it rounds to a proper 50 digit round number because Nifty contracts, you can only sell and 50 digits. It cannot be like 17,720, 21, 22. So it can only be 17,700, 17, 750, 800, 850, something like that. That is why it actually rounds the number. Now, let me show the backtesting results and then um, we will see the conditions at the end of the video. Okay, so it takes uh, certain conditions. It does certain jobs. It cleans the nifty OI contracts. That is a very important operation that the code will do which means that you don't have to um, do certain operations based on the complete data that uh, Nifty website is giving you. The bug copy that um, whatever you download from the Nifty website, it contains uh, lots of contracts. It contains contracts which even is selling for 5 paise, 10 paise, 25 paise. Those are not required. So those are cleaned up after the cleaning is done. Whatever the core is left out on those things, we'll perform some operations and then this file is generated. This is the actual backtesting file, which I'm going to show you. Just a minute. Okay. So we are only focused on what you need to focus here is uh, O, P, Q, R, S, and T. Let me maximize them only. 
and then I'll freeze the first row so that it is easy for us to understand. Okay, so let's go to the last one. If you see, um, everything is done automatically. I have not done anything. It pulls the latest uh, business date as well, latest date of Nifty data. So what you see is the latest data that whatever is there in the Nifty bow copy, it automatically pulls does certain operations based on the conditions that I gave and it produced this result. Okay, when I say latest business date, I do mean by, let's suppose I don't run this code for uh, 10, 15 days and uh, this this date will go out of um, out of date right after 10 15 days if i come back and run this code it will generate 21 22 23 whatever the uh, actual business dates data that is available in the nifty so this is auto populated i don't do anything or touch anything here everything is calculated from the code and this being produced now the first important point is whatever the support and resistance that you see in the code here, okay, 70,700 and 18,400 is based on the last line. If you see, it has rounded to the nearest number, 17,700. And similarly, it has, for example, 17,690 is here. This is the support for this week. It is rounding to 17,700. And again, similarly, the resistance is 17,415 as calculated from the conditions of the code. It is rounding to 18,400. So you can see these numbers here and it rounds and says you in the code output. The next important thing to note for is these numbers are the ones for this week expiry. So this number is for next week expiry. So I, in the beginning, I told you, right, I have done a lot of adjustments. It will be very difficult for you to understand. These are the things that I have done. This is one of the example. I have done many things like this in order to um, do that. So if you see, it calculates the five and then it populates here. It calculates the five and then it populates here. The reason why um, you see like this is Nifty in 2011, it was a monthly expiry. It was not a weekly expiry. Only monthly expiry was available. But the code actually takes for five days since we have now five days. That's why you see something odd like this. And after 2016 and 17, you can see the weekly expiry. So whatever you see here, whatever the data is populated here, this is a Thursday expiry. So whatever you see this data, it is for next week. It's not for a similar week. So whatever the data you see here, the support and resistance, it's for next week. So whatever the data you see here, it is for next week. So whatever the data you see here, it's for next week. Now that being said, let's go to the latest data and backtrack the results and see what we are, how much we can expect or what we can expect from this conditions, okay? So you see this 17,607 and 18,362, which means that once this expiry is done, after 12th Thursday expiry is done, end of the day, bow, the code will pull the bow copy OI data from the Nifty and it is going to calculate for the next week. Next week, these are all the calculated numbers which is going to calculate for the next week, okay? So what it's calculating, 17,000, it is saying that Nifty will not hit 17,607 on the low. Similarly, on the high, Nifty is not going to touch 18,000 362 okay now this is expiry low and expiry high, which i calculated for um, demo purpose to show you if you see the low for the expiry was 17774 which means that it is above the code that is calculated which means if i sell this put even though nifty has fallen it has fallen above my support this is going to go zero similarly the high expiry high is 18183 which is below this number 18183 is below this number if i sell this call and this put whatever money i'm selling for is going to be zero at the end of next expiry which is thursday okay so i sold i sell this nifty low is this Nifty high is this. It however closed on 18,107 on 
19th expiry okay similarly take this one for example we have 17803 on the low the code is saying that it will not touch on the high 18549 so i'm going to sell this call i obviously i cannot sell this call i'll be selling 18550 and on the low i might sell uh, 17800 or if i feel the premium is too low i might even sell 17000 850 something like that 17850 now what is the code that um what is the actual nifty low nifty low was 17761 which means that it breached our um the put on the high it did not went up so it was 18541 however it closed at where it closed at 17858 it breached the expiry that we sold but it closed above our expiry which means that this went to zero this went to zero now the next question is if it falls this is this where is the stop loss right for this which i'm going to um, explain it in the later video but for now you need to understand what this code is doing what the conditions are how this has been back tested okay now moving back to so we had two successful expiries if we follow this code we had two successful expiries in the last um, two expiries now let's get in with this now it is saying 17765 17615 uh, is the support on the high it is going to be 18394 okay where the low touched 17892 which is above the code that predicted okay 17000 892 and then what is the expiry high expiry high is 17265 which means that this call that i have sold goes to zero and this put that i have sold goes to zero as well we had three successful expiries in the last three i mean last uh, whatever the last three expiries all three went to zero now let's take this one okay 17000 974 is what my support as predicted by the conditions from the code and my resistance is 17000 18693 so i'll sell this call i'll sell this put what is the expiry low expiry low is 17774 it did, it did breach sorry it did breach or conditions it went below that what is the expiry high expiry high is 18290 so this went to zero however this came down below our sub uh, support area but look at the close close it touched below and then it went back to 18000 it closed somewhere here 18191 for so four expiries we got the money okay so moving um, to the next portion of the video Uh, let me explain the other uh, portions of this uh, back testing results what you see here open eye low close is the wix wix op- for example wix on friday opened on 13.96 it went up to 14 and then it stayed low of 11.6 it closed at 18 13.78 low open high low and close what you see here open eye low close is the nifty open high low and then close uh, s- and then what you see here is um it's not important to know but uh, just to, it's it's a good to have so this is a calculated value that is coming from the code and uh, based on this value this is populated so the final value will be this and uh, this is uh, again a populated value calculated from the code not of much importance our main uh, important values that you need to note for once you implement this condition is o p q r s so you can implement this condition anywhere you want you um, maybe for example trade tron or trading view anything that supports you to code should be able to give you this conditions what are the conditions uh, this is the conditions that uh, this whole code is running upon what you see here is the monthly movement of uh, bank nifty that you can expect for certain month for example whatever this value calculates will be the high for uh, jan and whatever this value calculates will be the low for the jan this is 
weekly we have 52 weeks in the year so whatever this code will calculate is for the next five trading sessions or for the next expiry weekly expiry and this is the daily what you can expect daily movements based on the weeks okay so this code is dependent on weeks and time to decay depends upon when you are uh, looking for the expiry either monthly or weekly or yearly or whatever okay in simple terms what this act code uh, or condition or whatever is doing is it is telling you to do a short strangle out of the money short strangle it is telling you to sell 17600 put and it is telling you to sell 18350 call you are having a 750 points um, window for nifty to move this is simply a short strangle there might be cases where on one side the premium will be very high on the other side the premiums will be very less ideally you should target 50 to 55 rupees per lot if let's say suppose um, one of the side have a very strong option premium and the other one has very less option premium shift the strangle in such a way that you can just shift the strangle for example you can sell 80,400 on the low you can sell 17,700 this will create something like 35 rupees and on the low you will have 15 rupees so ideally you will make 50 rupees per lot and that will give you 2500 rupees per lot considering the margin is 1.75 or 1.7 lakhs you are looking to make 1.35 percent per lot per week and if you can do this for like four weeks or the month you will make five percent let's suppose let's not take five percent let's take three to four percent considering the fact that once in a while you will hit your stop loss still four percent compounded month on month will put a return of 60 to 65 percent per year you don't have to do anything just uh, click this button or replace these conditions put these conditions in certain um, tools that you can generate the nifty high and low sell those uh, strikes and it just keeps sending you money to your bank account um, hope you like this video uh, it took a lot of time for me to prepare uh, this code write this code back test and everything if you like this uh, video please uh, hit like and subscribe to our channel this will help us uh, give more content like this which will help you to make some extra money i'll meet you again bye bye take care